ASS official video channel. If you wish to purchase the item that we have filmed in this video, you can click the link at the subscribe or send us an email for recommendation. Okay, here's what we would like to show you today. Our best sale product, the VSS HDMI Extender 4K X70-L. Now I will show you what is in the box first. A user manual which you should read before the installation. A transmitter for the source as input. A receiver for the display as output. One, remember, only one power adapter will there be, for one is all you need. And of course, a pair of iron cables. Well, that's everything. The installation is easier than you think. Today, we take the Apple TV as a source, for example, and same way when using other sources. Connect HDMI cable between the Apple TV and the transmitter first. Then, plug the CAT6 or any antenna cable between the CAT5E to CAT7 in this port. Yes, the out port. Then, to the input, to the receiver, and HDMI cable again for the receiver to the TV. Finally, the power cord. As the 4K EX70-L extender supports bidirectional PoE, so it really doesn't matter where you set the power off now, wait for it. And here comes the 4K video. I did not forget the IR cable. By connecting them in different order, you could have a different functions. Let us try the most common way, which is control the TV from the source. Here's the IR emitter with cable. It's a little square, one plug into the IR in. Then, the IR receiver cable. It is kind of like a bug. IR how you goes. I got a friend here who helps me hold the IR receiver near to the TV so I could control the volume from the Apple TV side. But remember, the IR receiver must be close to the IR window of the TV so the receiver could get the signal to pass through. Alright, here's how to set up the AVSS HDMI Extender 4K EX70-L. And if you got a questions or concern about our products, just reach us anytime. Thank you for watching. See you next time.